workouts, and helpful advice. Add this video to your favorites. It will guide you when you train. Next exercise, high knee run plus front punch. Go. If you cannot do it, try doing high knee run. Do not rest your heels on the ground. Finish the descent on your toes. Do not bend or curve your back. Maintain your torso straight by staring at a fixed point in front of you while contracting your abdominals. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, standing crunch with outstretched leg. Go. If you cannot do it, try keeping your legs bent and touch your knees with your hands. Keep your shoulders and head straight throughout the whole exercise. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. Be sure not to bend your leg when you lift it. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side lunges with raised leg. Go. If you can't do it, don't lift your leg when you go up again. Be sure not to bend your torso sideways. Your back must always be very straight. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Be sure not to bend the outstretched leg. For a better balance, try stretching your arms forward. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat plus calf lifts. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent to avoid joint problems. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards during the descent phase. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, alternate side lunge, touching the ground. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement.
don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent. Don't lift your heel during the lunge. Your foot must always be firmly on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, rear lunges plus twist. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abs constantly tight. Make sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg. Don't touch the floor with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the basin. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, jump, jump, front, punch. Go. If you can't, do not jump. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Jump, jump, squat. Go. If you cannot do it, try not jumping sideways when you rise from the squat. Lift one foot slightly off the ground. Be sure your knees don't pass your toes during the squat to avoid any joint problems. Do not curve your back during jumps. Keep your abs tight. Do not turn your legs inwards or outwards. Your knees must be in line with your toes. Exercise, dumbbell sumo squat, touching the ground. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. Always keep them in line with your feet. Don't bend or arc your back. Keep it constantly straight to avoid problems. Keep your abs tight throughout the workout. Be sure not to raise your heels off the floor. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five. Four, three, two, one, stop. 
Next exercise, rear lunges plus lateral shoulder raises. Go! If you can't do it, try bending less the leg and try using lighter weights or no weights at all. Keep your elbows and hands at shoulder height when you bring your arms up. Don't touch the floor with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the basin. Don't bend your neck. Try bringing your chin back. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearms. Don't lift your shoulders when bringing up the arms. Keep them constantly down and relaxed. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell squat and lateral punch. Go! If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. During the descent, do not take your knees over the tips of the toes. Make sure to keep your knees in line with your toes when you descend. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, curl plus Arnold press. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure not to stretch out your arms to avoid joint problems. Don't arc your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Don't bend your wrists during the movement. Keep your hands in line with your forearms. Don't bend your head. Keep it constantly in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Next exercise, Dumbbell Sumo Squat plus High Punch. Go! If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. Don't bend or arc your back. Keep it constantly straight to avoid problems. Be sure not to raise your heels off the floor. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. Always keep them in line with your feet. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell side lunges. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure not to bend your torso sideways. Your back should always be perfectly straight. Five, four, three, two, one, 
switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go! Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. Be sure not to bend the outstretched leg. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat and lateral punch, plus squat and side knee kick. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. When you descend, make sure your knees don't pass your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure to keep your knees in line with your toes when you descend. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, dumbbell front lunges plus punch. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go! Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abdominals tight in order to be able to do this. Be sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg during the movement. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell floor press plus butt lifts. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Keep your elbows and hands at shoulder height when you bring your arms up. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearms. Don't force your neck. Keep your head still and resting on the floor. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Be sure not to raise your shoulder blades off the floor during the exercise. Be sure not to lift your lower back off the floor. Keep the abs constantly tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell full crunch. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure never to lift the lower back off the floor to avoid back problems. To be able to correctly do this, constantly maintain the abdominal muscles tight. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Do 
to avoid straining the neck, keep your eyes on your belly button. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell twist on the ground plus lateral punch. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Keep your abs constantly tight to avoid burdening the spine. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell flies plus butt lifts. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearms. Be sure not to raise your shoulder blades off the floor during the exercise. Do not strain your neck. It helps to stare at a fixed point on the ceiling. Constantly keep your abs and glutes tight. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, inclined push-ups. Go. If you cannot do it, perform a push-up with your knees on the ground. Keep your abs constantly tight throughout the movement to stabilize the spine. Do not strain your neck by trying to look forward. Always stare at a fixed point on the chair. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, forward jump squats plus backwards jump squats. Go. If you can't do it, try doing a simple squat. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent. Never turn your knees inwards or outwards to avoid joint problems. Don't curve your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Be sure to always land on your toes when you jump. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, mountain climber. Go. If you cannot do it, try resting your foot on the ground when you bring it forward.
Do not bend your back. Keep it parallel to the floor. Keep the abs tight to keep a better balance. Do not bend or curve your neck while running. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, push-ups with knees on the ground. Go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Do not bend your back on the way down. Your head, shoulders, and hips must always be aligned. Do not strain your neck by trying to look forward. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, low plank. Go. If you are unable to complete this movement, try resting your knees on the ground. Be sure not to lift your bottom. Your back and glutes should remain constantly in alignment. To be able to do this, make sure the abdominals are well contracted during this movement. Be sure not to bend the neck. The head should remain constantly in line with the back. To do this, stare at a fixed point on the ground. Be careful not to flex the foot. The heel must always be directed toward the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. Three, two, one. Go. Next exercise, spinal elongation. Go. Be sure not to lift your shoulders off the floor during the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head. Try focusing on the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching shoulders and the dorsal on the ground. Go. Do not force the upward thrust. Stop when your shoulders have reached their limits. Do not curve your back and neck. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. 
Next exercise, stretching arms, chest, and shoulders. Go. Be sure not to bend your back. Try staring at a point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching triceps. Go. Do not overdo the push. Stop if you feel pain. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not curve your back when you bring your arm backwards. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching hamstring. Go. Don't bend your back to facilitate reaching your feet. Keep it constantly straight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Try out our full workout plans. More info in the description below.